day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel Presenting to you the 2020 Toyota Arus 1.5 Advance And in this video, I will show you the complete exterior As well as take you around the interior As well as show you all around the Toyota Arus So without further ado, let's begin today's video So for the 2020 Toyota Arus range in Malaysia You actually get two variants to choose from You get the base Arus 1.5X and then you have this top of the range model which is the Arus 1.5 Advance so this Arus 1.5 Advance retails at 73,000 ringgit Malaysia so let's wait and see whether this Arus 1.5 Advance is worth all that money so let's start off with the exterior walk around of this 2020 Toyota Arus 1.5 Advance so let's start off with the front so this is the front fascia of the Toyota Arus 1.5 Advance overall it looks really nice it's quite sporty this is a 7-seater SUV, so it's quite big. The front end has good proportions, and I really love the design. So at the center, you get the Perdua badge, and you may notice this chrome strip which runs, which runs all the way from the left to the right. It has a unique detail as well. So they're trying to connect the chrome strip to the headlights. As you can see, it runs all the way from the left and all the way to the right. It's a unique design as well. So as you can see, the Perdua badge in the center. So as for headlights, for the Arrow 1.5 Advance, you get full LED reflector headlamps as you can see. So you get LED reflector headlamps. The headlamps do have a really nice detail as well if you go up close. So you get LED reflector headlamps. You still gets halogen indicators. And you still get halogen front fog lights. So this is the LED headlights as you can see. They are the LED reflector head units. As you can see, they have a really nice detail as well if you go up close. So overall, the front looks really nice. So this is the overall front fascia. Overall, it looks really aggressive. So now let's move on to the side. So up here, this car, the Arus 1.5 Advance, is equipped with Prodois Advanced Safety Assist 2.0, otherwise known as ASA 2.0. So this car comes as standard with the pre-collision warning, pre-collision braking, front departure alert, pedal miss operation control, and pedestrian detection for up to speeds of 80 km per hour so ASA 2.0 adds on the pedestrian detection so as you can see those are the cameras up there for ASA 2.0 and the Arus does get a front digital video recorder as well as you can see the front dash cam right there so now let's move on to the tyres so the Arus does get Bridgestone Alenza tyres as you can see these are the Bridgestone Alenza tyres and it has dual tone rims as well and the tyres do measure 215, 60, R17 so these are the 17 inch rims as you can see they are of a dual tone design as you can see it is finished in black with this brush silver finish with the Perdua badge in the centre so the rims look really nice as well dual VBTI lettering on the sides Right here, you get LED indicators on the side mirrors as well. LED indicators can be found on the side mirrors, as you can see. So that's the interior of the Perdua Arus 1.5 Advance. Hope you can see it. Overall, the interior looks nice. You get black roof rails as well for the 1.5 Advance. For the 1.5X, you don't get roof rails. Body colored door handles. And this car does come with keyless entry as well for only the driver's side door. So this car receives the 5 star safety Asian end cap safety rating as well. So let me give you a side look of the 2020 Toyota Arus. Overall the Arus looks quite big. This being the 7 seater SUV so you expect it to be quite huge. And overall it's quite a good SUV if you ask me. I'm not a big fan of the Arus but it still looks quite nice overall. So your rear rims are down here, the rear tyres. This Arus is finished in the Amazon green paintwork. So it looks really nice when it's in the sunlight. So this is the rear end. Overall it looks nice. So as for tail lights, it gets halogen indicators, halogen reversing lights. But you get LED tail lights and LED brake lights as well. So the tail lights do have a really nice detail as well if you go up close. You get the Perua badge right there. This is the Arus lettering on the sides. 
Maru's lettering right here and this is the advanced model so you get the AV lettering and you get this chrome strip it runs, which runs all the way from the right to the left you get your rear spoiler as well up there you get a shark fin antenna and there are a lot of gear up accessories available as well as you can see the gear up scuff plate down here for the boot so now let me give you a rear look of the car overall the rear end looks really nice this is the side profile overall the arrows looks really nice so your fuel door right here so the best in class fuel economy is 15.6 kilometers per liter rims down there now we're coming back to the front so as mentioned just now the arrows from my fire advanced does come with keyless entry for only the driver's side door so your side mirrors are right here as you can see with led indicators so now let's take you back to the front so that's it for the exterior walk around let's continue with the interior so let's take a look at the engine bay of the Polar Arrows 1.5 Advance so as you can see this is the engine bay right here so the Polar Arrows is powered by a 1.5 litre dual VVTi engine producing around 101 horsepower and 133 newton meters of torque respectively all the power is sent to the front wheels via a 4 speed automatic transmission the 4 speed automatic transmission is in the form of a gated shifter layout I'll show that to you later so this is the engine bay right here as you can see it says dual VVTi lettering right there overall the engine bay looks clean and tidy it's quite neat as well and that's the engine bay of the Polo Arrows by Fire so now let's take a look at the interior of the 2020 Polo Arrows by Fire Advance but before that here is the key fob of the Polo Arrows by Fire Advance so without further ado let's go ahead and start her up and let her run so to unlock the car press the unlock button once to unlock the driver's side door and press it a second time to unlock the rest of the car it's a good safety feature as well so as mentioned just now the Polo Arrows 1.5 Advance does come standard with Polo's version of a smart killer sentry and start system so just have the key fob on yourself the car is currently unlocked to lock the car press this black button on the driver's side door handle and to unlock the car just press the black button again like on the key fob press the button once to unlock the driver's side door and press it a second time to unlock the rest of the car so this is the door panels of the Kodo Arrows from Wi-Fi Advance and that's the interior right there overall the interior looks nice so now let's continue with the door panel so on the doors you get a speaker down here you get two bottle holders and a storage area right here you have your mirror controls window controls of the windows in this car are powered or only the driver's side is the only side that gets a full automatic function in both directions window lock right here and there's a little storage area right here you get chrome door handles as well and you get this silver look-alike aluminium string going around the doors as well so down here you get a gear up Perodor original door sills part of the gear up package you get Perodor floor mats part of the gear up package as well so let's move on to this side right here you have the button to turn off or on the advanced safety assist 2.0 feature and this button allows you to activate or deactivate the vehicle's automatic start stop feature if you have this feature turned on the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or traffic jam to save the extra bit of petrol that this car is running on traction control off headlight level adjustment lever push start button down here you have your touch and go reader you can slot in your touch and go card to check your remaining balance and all that bonnet release lever right here pull this lever to release the fuel door and the driver's seat in this Perdua Arrows 4 by 5 Advance just get 4 manual adjustments with all the controls down there this lever controls the seat back this lever controls the seat height while this bar down here controls the seat position the seats in this car are finished in really nice black leather 
if you very nice to the touch they have perforated sections as well in the center right here and overall the interior is quite good so on the doors it's finished in hard plastic right here hard plastic right here as well and this pattern this diamond coating pattern right here this is plastic as well so that's the interior so now let's step inside and start the car so this is the driver's view of the Pura Arrows the interior of the Pura Arrows overall it looks really nice the interior is quite good and I really love the interior so to start the Pura Arrows of my fire advance make sure the key fob is inside the car and then put your phone on the brake and then press the start button to the right of the steering wheel as you can see everything starts to wake up so that's the infotainment system so let's close the door and explore the interior an electric rack and pinion power steering system does its duty in the Pura Arus 1.5 Advance. For the Pura Arus 1.5 Advance, you get a nice leather wrapped steering wheel. So this is the steering wheel. It feels really nice and comfortable to hold as well. So on the left spoke, you have your volume controls, seat track, different mode selections, your Bluetooth telephone control on the right spoke. On the right stock, you have your light and indicator controls. You get a triple turn signal as well. And for the Arrows on Wi-Fi Advance, you get automatic headlamps and front fog lights as well. So if I turn on the headlamps, the instrument panel will illuminate as you can see. So overall, the meter panel looks really nice. And on the left stock, you have your wiper controls right there. So the steering wheel in this Arrows is tilted and telescopic. You adjust it using a lever down here. locate this button right here as you can see this button right here to go through the auto and trip display currently displaying your mileage you can go through your trip display average fuel consumption current fuel consumption you can go through your range how long the auto start stop feature has been running since the last startup and this one displays how long the idle start stop feature has been running since the beginning and you come back to your mileage right here So this car does come with power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, just press this button. As simple as that. So now let's move on to the center. So right here you get your aircon vents. This is your hazard light switch. Here is the infotainment system but before that let's cover the bottom half so right here you get your passenger your seatbelt warning for the front passenger and your rear seatbelt warning right here central locking parking sensors and right here you have your digital manual air conditioning controls fan speed temperature air conditioning, front and rear defrost, different modes, two memory settings for the climate control and your recirculation button right here. Down here, you get a 12 volt socket, HDMI port and a USB port right here. Get a storage area right here as well. So now let's move on to the infotainment system. So the Arrows of Wi-Fi Advance comes with a 7 inch touchscreen head unit with mirror link and six speakers for the sound system. So let's give it a sound test.
the stock sound system fitted to the Arnold Super Wi-Fi Advance does sound quite alright. So the display right here is actually a touch screen, so you can control it using your fingers. So we are currently in your FM AM menu. So on the right you have your power button, your SD card slot, your USB port, your MIC slot right here. So you can hit back to go back to your home display right here. You can access your radio, your USB, you can enter your USB via this port, your smart link connectivity. So you can mirror your phone screen via the smart link function. It only works for Android phones, not for Apple phones sadly. So you get navigation as well. You need to insert the SD card, the SD card, SD card slot under Bluetooth. You can go through your Bluetooth, you can pair your phone via the Bluetooth function, you can go through your keypad, contacts, your lock, Bluetooth music and your Bluetooth settings. Hit the back button to go back. You can go through your settings. When in your settings, you can adjust your beep sound, clock display, navigation audio. In fact, we set them back to factory settings. You can go back to settings. You can adjust your sound settings, your bass mid treble, your balance fader, and your different equalizer settings. Display settings, you can adjust the brightness. Language, you can switch between Barca Malaysia as well. On the time, you can adjust your clock right here. You can adjust the digital or analog clock. And you can adjust your time and date right here. On the team, you can switch between your different teams. Currently blue, you can go through grey, orange, green, and pink. But I personally prefer blue. So let's hit the back button to go back. And to go back to your radio, just hit the radio. And you'll go back to your radio display right here. So if you hit the power off button, you display the analog clock right here. So this is the standby mode for the infotainment system. So overall, it's a quite simple here you need to use. And that's basically it for the infotainment system. So now let's move on. So down here is your gear lever. This car comes with a 4-speed automatic transmission. Controlled via this gear lever right here. This transmission is in the form of a gated shifter layout as you can see. This transmission features a low gear mode as well as you can see. So overall, the gear lever is quite good. And the transmission is in the form of a gated shifter layout. Mechanical handbrake right here. Storage just ahead of the handbrake. You get three cup holders right here. And right here you get an ashtray. If you purchase the car, you'll come with the ashtray. So right here you have your anti-snatch handbag hook. So ladies can hook their handbags right here. You can hook your handbags. And it will be quite hard for snatch thieves to snatch the handbag from this place. So this hook holds to a maximum of 3 kilograms, as you can see. So this is the interior. So up here, you get a manual dimming, rear view mirror. Up here, sunglass holder. Front reading lights. Sun visor for the driver's side. Just get a vanity mirror with a couple of lights. And the sun visor for the passenger side. Just get a vanity mirror with a couple of lights. So overall, the interior is quite good, as you can see. It feels quite nice. So that's all for the front. Let's continue with the rear seats. Let's continue with the rear seats. So for the rear doors, you get a speaker, you get a bottle holder and a storage area. Window control, storage area right here. Chrome door handle as well. Gear up for the original door sills, part of the gear up package. As you can see these are the rear seats. So your third row seats are actually at the back. As you can see those are the third row seats. So let's get inside. So it's quite high actually to get inside. So I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is around 170 centimeters tall. There is enough of space to stretch on my feet underneath the driver's seat. If I sit upright, I get about this much in terms of legroom. And as for headroom, I get about this much. It is quite cramped for me back here. I don't get that much of leg room, but for headroom, it's quite alright for me. 
So right here you get a hook, which can hold up to a maximum of three kilograms. For both sides, as you can see, you get seat storage for both sides. So your rear icon vents are right here for the second row and third row. So you can adjust your fan speed. So you can only adjust your fan speed. So up here, you get your cabin lights. The handle for both sides. So that's the interior of the Toro Aro 4.5 Advance. Overall, the interior looks nice and it's a quite good interior as well. So let's continue with the boot space. So right here is the fuel door. So to open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself, locate a touch pad beneath the pull drawer badge, press on it, and the boot will open right up. As you can see. So boot space in the Polar Arus is not that good with the seats folded up but when you fold on the seats, the boot space will be improved. So you get your Arus floor organizer, part of the gear package, storage areas on this side, you get a light right there. And for the third row seats, you get a power outlet, a cup holder, storage area. So this side you get a cup holder and storage area, you don't get the 12 volt socket, you get a speaker right there and on this side as well. So overall the boot space is not that good with the seats folded up. That's the interior right there. So now let's close it. As for headrest adjustments, the front headrests are adjusted using the button down here. And for the second row, it's adjusted using the button right here. And for the third row, it's adjusted using the same button on the on my right side. So for the passenger side, you get a speaker, auto holder, storage, window control, storage area, chrome door handle. Gear up to the original door source, part of the gear package. And the passenger seat does get full manual adjustments. This lever adjusts the seat back, while this bar down here controls the seat position. You get to the floor mats, part of the gear package. It gets the same seat of horsery as well. So that's the interior. Let's get inside. So I forgot to mention one thing, which is you have a USB port right here actually for the rear seats. There is one USB port right here. Nicely styled the glove box. So as mentioned just now, sun visor for the passenger side does get a vanity mirror with a couple of lights. And the passenger side does get a grip handle. So that's your dash cam right here. The front digital video recorder. This is the dash cam. And that's the interior. Overall, the interior looks nice. So now let's get back to the front. So now let's start the car with the door closed.
so that's all for today's video on the 2020 for the Aros 1.5 Advance. Thanks for watching. Stay well, stay safe, and goodbye.